before it's too late. Well, this is an interesting patch here because we've got all three species of heather plants that's found in Denmark. Uh, this one, the common heather plant, which covers almost all of the military shooting terrain here. And then we've got two other heather plants that are mostly found in humid spots, like this one, which we call the bell heather in Danish, which has very nice pink flowers come later on in the season. And then the early bloomer, the very rare, what we call rosemary heather. And uh, this is a red list species. It's become very rare in Denmark. So it's, it's a very fine little spot here because you see all three kinds together. Boris Heath has been protected from cultivation for almost a century, but even this isolated patch of wilderness is not safe from the effects of human society. Blown on the wind and carried in the flowing waters, pollutants have taken their toll. Pesticides, fertilizers, acid rain and poor land management have all led to a dramatic loss in natural habitat. Today, phosphate and nitrogen levels are as high as those in the fertilized fields of a century ago. These richer soils have changed the balance of vegetation and now natural heather is being threatened as more aggressive species starve it of light. The heath must fight for its survival against these new invaders, which are transforming the landscape into thickets of bushes and small trees. This loss of natural biodiversity is not unique to Boris Heath. It's a scenario being repeated throughout Europe. More and more fertilizers and pesticides are being used. Forest clearings, uh, cultivation of all possible areas to the edge of the wetlands, to the edge of the watercourses, to the edge of the coast. Fertilizers are washed out into wetlands and shallow sea waters. And we see all this pollution problems and degradations happening all over. The restoration of Denmark's largest heathland is a major priority in the environmental strategy plan created for Boris Heath. But the plan didn't arrive early enough for some. In the early 1990s, Denmark's black grouse became extinct. Boris Heath was the last remaining habitat in which this stunning bird could be found in the wild. There is much debate about the cause of its extinction. But what is known is that the abundance and diversity of small insects and invertebrates declined around the same time. These were a major food item for the fledgling black grouse. Could this have been the last straw in the survival of an already critically endangered population? An example of how fragile our ecosystems are and how we need to protect them from the chemicals that we so casually flaunt. <laughs>